and even other districts. Renegade UPDF Officer General David Sejusa, now exiled in the United Kingdom, is no longer a UPDF member of parliament. His fate was sealed by a 38 page report from the House Rules, Discipline and Privileges Committee, which was later adopted by the House. The committee recommends as follows A. Honorable General David Sejusa ceases to be a member of parliament under Article 83.1D of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. According to the report, Sejusa was unfit to serve after absconding from duty for more than 14 sittings. The constitution prescribes that a member of parliament shall lose his or her seat if he or she is absent from parliament for 14 consecutive sittings. According to the recommendations, Parliament has also given UPDF the green light to appoint Sejusa's replacement. The process for his replacement be initiated in accordance with Article 81 2 of the Constitution and see that Parliament do adopt the committee's recommendations in this report. However, some MPs contested the recommendation of the committee, arguing that it's only the High Court that has the mandate to declare the seat vacant according to Article 86 of the Constitution. In the circumstances, the procedural question, I seek, Madam Speaker, is whether this Parliament is conferring the jurisdiction of the High Court upon itself to move and declare our General David Sejusa seat back. I'm just seeking your guidance. But to determine whether the seat has fallen back, it is a prison of the High Court. So I'm only wondering whether we can proceed under Article 83 as determined by the committee. We shall not proceed in any different rule, which does not deal with the declared seat of the Bata. Shall also be the last year's rule of the Madam Speaker. We also speak for that. But after receiving the blessing of the majority of lawmakers, the report was adopted by the House. <laughs> Parliament Committee on Rules and Privileges has been investigating whether there is justification to strip renegade General Sejusa of his seat following his absence from Parliament since April. Sejusa fled to exile after authoring a letter to the Director General of Internal Security Organization in April asking him to investigate claims that there was a plan to assassinate top government officials against what was dubbed as the Mohoz project. According to Sejusa's letter, which jolted the UPDF establishment, the Mohoz project is a scheme by President Yoweri Museveni to groom his son, Brigadier Mohoz Kainurugaba, to succeed him. Agnes Nandutu, NTV, Parliament.